So you want to know how to use Halo Reach Mod Tools Sapien. Let's get right into this thing. So if you guys watched my last tutorial, building off of that, we are currently on um, Sword Base. This is a Sword Base map for multiplayer, as you can see. And today we're going to be showing you how to use Sapien properly and how to get through using it and get the basics down. So if you middle mouse click in this game window, um, you will see that you can actually look around, which is really, really nice. So that's your middle mouse button that you're pressing there. And then WASD as if you're playing the game to move around. F is to go down, R is to go up, and shift is to change your speed. You'll see in the bottom left, it says speed is now 5.0 X. 20x, 40x, and 100x. I usually use 5.0 to move around the map and 1.0 to use precision in, in moving around in the map. So let's just start it off with now you want to spawn your player. Well, press tab and you'll spawn in. So now here we are. And if you press tab again, you'll see that you are in here as Noble Six as a default Spartan. If you press tab again, you're back into your Spartan. C is to change weapons. Q is to melee, R is to reload. F is to throw a grenade, pretty much the default weapons to uh, to be able to do that. So that is essentially how you get yourself into Sapien, move around, tab is to get out and go back in and move around. It's same controls, WASD to move around and stuff like that. Next up, press the backspace button and you will see that you're in a free cam, but you can't do anything in the free cam. You can't move around or anything. Press it again, and now you are in third person in Halo Reach Mod Tools to move around and do whatever you wish. So you can go up here and land here, whatever you want to do. In my case, we're just gonna go down here, and here we are down here. So the next thing that you want to do is press home. Now you'll see this big menu that will open up, and it might be a little bit threatening. Fear not, I am going to show you how to mess with using your um, D-pad keys here or your up arrow down arrow and left and right arrows to move around in this menu press on cheats and in here you'll see a ton of cheats that you can access now you'll notice that on this screen um, it's it's huge so what we're gonna actually have to do here is we're gonna have to tab out of our player and we're gonna have to make this window just slightly smaller okay so now I have moved all of my stuff to be able to actually access this menu so press home go into cheats and this is where you can turn on infinite ammo, bottomless clip, infinite equipment energy, bump possession, jetpack, and invisible player, reflexive damage effects, porcupine, super forge, whatever you want to do, it's all in there. So now if we go back to our player and we press space and hold space, you can actually fly around as if you have a jetpack. As you can see, <laughs> you can kill yourself accidentally if you slam into the ground like that, and that'll end up happening that you'll die. So to fix that, go into cheats and turn on deathless player. And now you will see that you can fly into the wall full speed and you will not die from damage there, which is pretty nice. So the next thing that we're going to do now is introduce you to all of these other menus and tabs in the Halo Reach mod tools and what you want to do with them. So in the properties palette, this is basically, well, the properties palette. This is everything to do with properties of the game. So you'll see structure seams and a ton of stuff in here, like atmosphere stuff, light maps. In the bottom left, you'll see hierarchy view. If you press on the plus here on the scenario, you'll see a ton of folders were open here. You got objects in there, lighting data, don't use, says lights, don't use, so don't touch that. Structure data, there's a ton of stuff in here that you can mess with. Um, caching zones resources i don't really mess with that game data this is where you can mess with spawn data and stuff like that we're gonna minus that out you got ai so when we actually eventually get into showing you guys how to use ai there's a ton of folders in here to use ai stuff and that is basically everything in the hierarchy view now the tool window you will see a ton of stuff in here as well and i actually just noticed that a lot of it's actually cut off so if we put this up a little bit higher you can see everything that's in this tool window now so far in my experience of editing in the sapien editor here i haven't really needed to use the tool editor window so we're just going to kind of put that away here down there and then you'll also have an output window which will essentially help you with scripts and if you have scripting errors that'll kind of go into this output window and you'll actually be able to see what's screwed up in your script essentially you can go into here as well into the objects you can and you can spawn in equipment and weapons so i guess let's just spawn in a weapon here right in front of me so if you right click when you press on the weapons folder and this will spawn 
scroll down and you'll see in here somewhere it'll say none. Now, what you want to do is go into the top left in the properties palette, that's why the properties palette needs to be open, and you'll see a ton of weapons in here. So these are all the default weapons that are able to be able to be spawned on this map. So this will be varied, um, or this will vary depending on what map you are on. Some of these weapons you won't see depending on what map you are on. So if we press on energy sword, you'll notice an energy sword will spawn right in front of us. So let's bring it up over the ground there and you'll actually be able to see that it'll spawn. You can walk over it and pick it up for yourself or you can get rid of it and drop it like that. That's how you spawn in um, weapons and that same thing goes for equipment as well. You'll see frag grenades and plasma grenades are here as well. You just right click here and boom, you have a plasma grenade, and that's because I actually had pressed on the plasma grenade beforehand. So if you press on frag grenade and you press, boom, you'll have a frag grenade there as well. So that can be a quicker way of spawning weapons and equipment if you wanted to. Now units, there's bipeds that you can spawn, but I have not imported bipeds yet. Um, we'll get into importing bipeds as well in the next episode, um, and vehicles and stuff like that. So we'll get into that in the next episode of how to use Sapien. So you will have noticed that when I spawned in, the energy sword and I picked it up and dropped it you'll see that there's a ton of stuff that pops up on your screen like all of this and you want to get rid of this for me it's just a nuisance to have that on my screen it's annoying so go to debug and in here you'll see a ton of different stuff <clears throat> that you can mess with so events display if you press on that press enter to disable it um, you can also go into error geometry settings and hide all and that will get rid of all of those errors so now if you open or uh, pick up the weapons, you'll notice all them errors are actually off the screen. That is because you disabled the errors and stuff like that, so that's all disabled, so you won't have to mess with the uh, the errors that are being all over your screen. That's a, definitely a big nuisance when you spawn AI eventually in the map. So guys, that is the basics with Sapien. Next episode, we're going to get into the basics of Foundation, and then after that, we're going to come back into Sapien and go into Bipeds, and then after that, we'll get into AI. So if you guys did enjoy the video and it helped you out, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button for more Halo Reach mod tool tutorials. And uh, of course, hit that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload a Halo Reach mod tools uh, tutorial episode for you. So that is it for me. My name is Icy Advice and I'm catching you in the next video. Peace out.